I've been with her for four years now. We had a beautiful little boy this March. He passed away July 21st of this year. He was always happy. He was always smiling. Man, he just was like the light of my life. After uh, our son died, she was home for about a month and a half on bereavement leave. I believe that she had at least one guy in our house because I heard the guy's voice on our cameras several times. And she would just say that she doesn't hear anything, you know? And I'll just play it every day, every day, every day. And I'll bring out one of the recordings right now. And you tell me what you think. What I just heard was uh, someone's ass being smacked and someone yelling like, no, 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 sexual yelling, sexual moaning. She's denied cheating on me. She's denied bringing any guys in the house. She's denied having sex, period, with anyone. After my son passed, I might have flipped out a little bit, maybe went a little insane, I don't know, lost my mind a little bit. But I know one thing, the sounds that I hear it's just like with anybody else, you or anybody else, you heard him. I believe that since he's passed, that she look at it like, okay, now I can just start over with somebody else. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that she wanted that because I believe she loved him just like I did. But what I'm saying is that the reality of things is set in on her. Once they did, she like, okay, well, I can just start over with somebody else. If uh, she fails the test, then I'm gonna um, I'm gonna go my separate way. Uh, Ashley, first of all, I'm very sorry for your loss. Um, I can't even imagine that. Uh, I think it's the worst thing in the world. Um, tell me about your son's passing. Well, it happened July 21st, worst day of my life. Worst day. It was like any other morning. Drew went to work, got up for work, kissed me and the baby goodbye, and then called me right when he got into the car. So I picked up and I went to the bathroom while I'm on the phone with him. And I go back into the room and my dog's on the bed licking my son's face. So I'm like, she usually don't get on the bed, so I'm like, get off. And I went to go wake him up. His body is stiff. His body is stiff. And I'm, I'm just like, I'm on the phone with him, like, our son's gone, our son's dead. You know, I'm in shock. And I hang up from the phone with him and I call 911. They're telling me to do CPR and stuff. And I'm like, okay, so I'm doing all this. And then they're like, the paramedics is at the front. And I'm like, I'm not finna come and let them in. I'm finna bring my baby out to you guys. So I bring his and him, like, I bring him and we go to the hospital. We're there and they're trying to bring him back. And my guy's like, it's okay, it's okay. He's gonna come back, he's gonna come back. But I felt his body, he wasn't there. He didn't see our son in the bed. He didn't see how he, I thought he was asleep. Most devastating time of my life. I love my son, I love my son. And he's gone. I have nothing now. It's like, what am I doing? Well, you know, I wake up every day now in pain. I took some time off of work, and Drew, he goes back to work, and that's when the accusation started of him saying that I'm cheating because we have cameras in the house, and he's listening to these recordings that he says is me bringing men into our crib. I just lost my son. You think that's what I'm thinking about is messing around with any guy? I'm sitting at home depressed. I'm depressed. I don't even want to think about being in your shoes. Like that, I, but I imagine if something like happened to me, I couldn't even function. No, it's hard to do anything. I don't want to do anything. <laughs> like my baby's gone. You should be there comforting me, not putting me down. You putting me down, like my boy. He made me smile every day. It was my first son, my first baby. All I can do, Steve, is picture 
me still having him, what we would be doing. I didn't get to see my baby walk. I just wanted to give him the world. How long have you two been together? Uh, four years. Four years. And I got to ask you, have you ever cheated on him? No, but I did confess something to him um, before we came on here. I had uh, <laughs> went out with my coworker, that's a guy, and we had went to Red Lobster, and then I ended up dropping him off at home, and I ended up going home, and my guy started calling me all these disturbing names again and said, you should go somewhere. So I went back and picked up my coworker, and we went out to the casino. Now, um, me and my coworker... What's, what's so terrible about that? Yeah. <laughs> me and my coworker, uh, like... Who's a man? Uh, yeah. Okay. We have, like, a cool work... Uh, You're friends with the guy. Yeah. But he did overstep his boundaries when we were at the casino because he gave me a kiss. Now, I didn't want to kiss him. He kissed you? Yeah. So I'm like, no, no, you know, right. you know I got a man, you know? And he smacked my butt. And I told my guy about that. But as far as me sleeping around with somebody, no, I would never. Then you didn't do anything wrong. Yeah, I know. I mean, that's what I'm telling him. He thinks this. He thinks that now I'm sleeping with the coworker. Like, no, I'm not sleeping with nobody. Did he ever cheat on you? Uh, in the beginning of our relationship, you yeah. know. But um, I'm not worried about him cheating on me right now. I mean, we're on the phone all the time together. Like, when would he have time to cheat? When would I have time to and cheat? And he, you know, when he's done with his shift, he comes home. Yeah, he starts playing the audio. Every day I come home, he's playing this audio like, tell me what's going on. Tell me who this is. Tell me what, you, what you're doing. I don't know what I was doing in the apartment, but I do know I haven't messed around with no guys. I haven't had no guys in our apartment. But you also left out the reason for m me spazzing in the first place. I found them shoes, which were about, yeah, I found the shoes. Okay, and, and, you and were to, I told you, weren't, you... You weren't going to say nothing about none of that. You were going to just let me keep going on saying, accusing you of these things and making it sound like I'm just so outlandish and I'm just, like, far-fetched. But all the time, you have been talking to this guy about intimate details about our relationship for a whole year now. You admitted okay, that. Okay, but... And I told you. Right. Yeah, and I told you. You only you. admitted that after that. Steve Wilkos called us. Okay. You only admitted that. And, but you already knew about the shoes, and I just, uh, I didn't tell you about the Red Lobster and the um, you casino, You only but... admitted that because Steve called. If Steve wouldn't have called, if they wouldn't have called, you wouldn't have said none of that. I no? didn't Okay, call. and you gotta... <laughs> when you find out you're having a son, tell me about that. Man, it was like, I couldn't believe it. I still remember exactly where we was at. We just was praying and just, like, begging just for a son. She wanted a boy. You I wanted, wanted a, boy. a son. I wanted a boy bad. Yeah. It's 17 years since... My last child, they all was girls. You know, I love them to death. I love y'all. But uh, I did want to be able to play some basketball before I got too old or some football or something with my son, maybe teach him how to yeah, throw Yeah, we all curve. have dreams of that, like, as a man. Right. You know, if same thing. I wanted a boy. I played baseball my whole life. I wanted a son, and my son's a baseball player now, and playing catch with him all those years growing up, and now my son golfs with me, and we do all these things. I get it, like, you know, I had a daughter, and then I had a son, and, and, and getting a son is really, a, it's a special moment in oh, your yeah. life. He was, like, always happy, always upbeat, always with a smile. Even when he needs his pamper change, he's still smiling, he's laughing, you know. Um, he just was a, a real, like, um, rare light in my life. Why make this horrible situation worse? by accusing her. Because just talking to her, listen, man, if she fails this test, I'm gonna fall off my stage and crack my head. Because I can't imagine a mother losing, the, and this is her first child. Right. She doesn't have any other children. Right. This is her first child. I can't imagine that sex plays any part in her desires or gives her, would give her comfort to overcome uh, this loss. But I believe that she looked at it like, okay, this is a chance for me to start over clean. With somebody new? With somebody new. Why wouldn't she want to start over with the new baby with you? I mean, Steve, because I know, um, especially since even before he passed, I was accusing her. I thought that Why? she was doing something because... That's my next question. Have you ever accused her before? Yep. Why? I just, a lot of, okay, honestly, the situation 
at her workplace and she would always like, okay, I'm gonna stay late and I'm gonna do this and do that. Well, it's you don't dishonest. trust her because of what you've done to her, right? No, nah, that's not it. But you've cheated was... on her. I mean, we were, that was a month in, Steve. I didn't even know if I was gonna get the hit by that time. You didn't know you were gonna what? You know, I didn't even know if we was gonna kick it like that, Steve. Were you having sex with her? Nope, nope. So you waited a month? I waited longer than that. Okay. So here's a woman that, you know, she's probably taking it slow because she really cares about it. She's just not gonna jump in bed with you. So if she's not just jumping in bed with you and she ends up with you and gives you a son, what makes you think she's jumping in bed with anybody else? <laughs> All right, Ashley, you came here. Uh, and took a lie detector test. And we asked you, since being in a relationship with Drew, have you engaged in any physical sexual contact or acts with any man besides Drew? You answered no. Since being in a relationship with Drew, have you engaged in sexual intercourse with any man besides Drew? You answered no. Did you sneak any men into your home during your bereavement after your son's death? You answered no. Did you intentionally cheat in any way during your bereavement after your son's death? You answered no. The results came back all the same. And it came back that Ashley told the truth. <laughs> and I'm glad. You, I really hope this helps you. I really do. I hope you do go home and say, this is a woman that gave me my first son. I only got three months with them, and I got to live with that pain for the rest of my life. But maybe she gives you another son. And again, nothing's going to take that pain away. That will live with you for the rest of your lives, I know. But you got to live your life to enjoy it right now and be with her and enjoy the love that she gives you. And she's got to enjoy the love that you give her. And maybe you can go on and have a baby and be happy. Right. All right? Can I have uh, the paper? Yeah. Um, I, I, I just want to say, Good luck, and I really hope that you have another baby, that you can experience being a mother and have the rest of your lifetime being a mother. All Thank right? you. Good luck yeah, to you. Good luck to you. Thank you. Click here to watch more Wilco's. Click here to subscribe and get a front row seat for all the action. Can you relate to this story? Go to www.stewilkos.com to get my help.